the whole bridge just fell down. Start, start, whoever, everybody. The whole bridge just collapsed. Tonight, we are learning more about the moments leading up to and following the collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore. Thanks for joining us for Fox 43 News at 10. I'm Amy Lutz. And I'm Evan Forrest. With the latest information about the ship crash into the bridge includes the recovery of two victims and recovery of the ship's data recorder. The NTSB just provided the newest information a short time ago. Fox 43's Logan Prone just outside of Baltimore tonight with what we've learned tonight. Yeah, Evan and Amy, like you guys said, two bodies were recovered from the water, though those recovery efforts have ended. Now, tonight we also got a clear picture as to what was on that vessel. With the Dolly cargo ship at a standstill and the investigation moving forward, divers making a grim discovery. Shortly before 10 a.m., divers located a red pickup truck submerged in approximately 25 feet of water in the area of the middle span of the bridge. Divers recovered two, two victims of this tragedy trapped within the vehicle. Two of the six missing workers were located by recovery teams. Maryland officials say they've ended recovery efforts and moved to a salvage operation due to conditions. Because of the superstructure surrounding the vehicle, what we believe are the vehicles, and the amount of concrete and debris, Divers are no longer able, able to safely navigate or operate around that. NTSB officials also provided an update into their investigation as to why the crash happened. It's just utter devastation. They say the vessel had 23 people on board and 56 containers of hazardous material. Some were impacted in that crash. Some of the hazmat containers were breached. Uh, we have seen uh, shear on or sheen sorry sheen on the um, waterway the federal state and local authorities are aware of that it's still early in the investigation their crew members are being interviewed and data is being collected and analyzed right now we are just focused on the facts and on what occurred in this accident to determine what happened to prevent it from reoccurring the NTSB officials did say that they expect to release the preliminary report on their findings within the next two to four weeks. We're in Baltimore. Logan Perone, Fox 43 News. Logan, quick question. Did the NTSB provide any additional information about the bridge itself? Yeah, they actually did provide us a little bit of information. They said that it was in satisfactory condition and that it was last inspected in May of last year. Now, they did say that it was a fr uh, fracture critical structure. That's something that's not used. It didn't have redundancy like new bridges uh, that are built today do. And they say, you know, one part goes, a fracture critical component goes, the entire bridge goes. Evan and Amy. All right, Fox 43's Logan Perone tonight, live outside Baltimore. Thank you.